Hello, this is Digital Goulash, and I'm Chucky, your host, and today I've got some things, some wow, some wonderful things from PowerPoint 2007 that I want to show you, and I must go through this really quick because the last recording took me 15 minutes, and YouTube only gives me 10. So let's take a look at the, some of the things that we can do here. Wonderful 3D-looking things with some effects there. We've got some nice things with some reflections over here. If we look at this one, there's some reflections down here, and then we've got the 3D-looking one where it kind of wraps around there. Now I'm going to show you how to do this really quick. On the globe on the left-hand side, I want you to click it, and I want you to go to New, and you can see over under Presentations, it's going to take you to Microsoft Office Online, and then down here you have Example Slide Effects with Instructions, and that's the one that I want you to download um, this one right here with the static picture effects. Now I've already got that uh, open and installed so let's go ahead and look at them. This is what it's going to look like and there's all sorts of wonderful instructions down here. Like I said I'm trying to go a little bit fast because I don't have that much time but you have this falling pictures looking thing and then you have this one which I kinda copied from over there. So let me show you how to do that one really quick. Here's a new slide uh, the other thing that I did was I changed my little bar right here and I right clicked it and I put uh, add to the quick access toolbar. So if you see me using the quick access toolbar here it's because I added all these things to the quick access toolbar. I'm going to click on getting a picture and I'm just going to get a waterfall picture here. Uh, resizing is just grabbing the corner. It gives you a live preview of how big your image is kind of right there. And what I did was I used control C and then two control V's and what that did was copy paste paste and gives me three pictures uh, automatically put you in the picture tools here I'm going to use the crop which is right here and I'm going to crop it so that I have one right hand side and I'm going to have just by grabbing these little black handles I've got one left hand side here and then the third picture in the middle I'm just going to kind of grab here and we'll do something like this and I'll have three kind of bars here. Now in order to get this thing looking like the other one over there after you've downloaded this thing you come over here just make sure that uh, I'm not selected here okay I'm good so you're gonna go over here you're gonna click on this you're gonna use the format painter the format painter copies from presentation to presentation so watch what happens I click on this and voila it takes the format over. I'm going to click over into the other presentation, grab the center one, paint the format, click on this one, and voila, there it is. And last but not least, I'm going to come over here and grab this one and format paint over here to my presentation and click on that one. And there we go, all together with shadows and everything else. So you can go ahead and resize that and do all that fun stuff. But here are some picture frames of a picture. You cut it in three and then you put some frames on it. Wonderful thing. The next one we have here. Three picture frames and you got some reflections here. So let me show you how to do that. Hopefully you're catching on here. Um, let's take a look. And where did I get that one from? I got that one from uh, this one right here and let's go ahead and undo that one okay what they have here is they got three of them all lined up with the reflections and everything and what I had to do was right click it and ungroup it so I ungroup this and this is how I got the three like that so in my presentation I need to add a picture once again new slide insert a picture I know I'm going kinda of fast but let's go ahead and enter that tree let's go ahead and resize this tree here and the control C, two control V's, and that copy paste paste. And we're going to use the crop function. Grab these little black bars over here. A wonderful thing about YouTube is is that you can look at this video, even though I'm going extremely fast. You can look at the video again, and you can just do it over and over again until you get it. So here we go. We have these three here, and there's the nice piece about it. I'll just click on the thing to activate it and get rid of the crop and then I'm gonna go back to my presentation here I'm gonna click on that one I'm gonna format paint and then I'll click on this and then I'll go back to my other presentation here click on this one format paint right there and last but not least the right hand one format paint 
Uh, the only thing that you have to do after this is you have these three, you must group them together by holding the control key down. You can click all three of these and you can make them one group by going to group and it puts them in a group. Wonderful Chucky, it doesn't look any different. I know. So you have to go to shape effects, go to 3D rotation and pick this one right here. You can see there's a live preview, gives you some funky shapes over here. Uh, kind of a flat looking one if you want but there we go I chose this one and voila there is your three panel picture frame now the last one that we have right here is uh, three different ones I use three different pictures here I'm gonna create a new slide and right here using the insert picture from file I'm gonna select three different pictures using the control key I'm gonna insert them I'm gonna make them uh, different sizes so we can go ahead and make all three different sizes at the same time here. And there we go. I'm going to click those and move these around. I'm also going to make them a little bit different in size. Do this. And last but not least, do this one. Hopefully you're getting the hint here. I'm going to go back to this presentation. Once again, this presentation is the one that I downloaded from the Microsoft site. Go into the globe, go into new and just picking the one that says static picture effects with PowerPoint slides so just download that one and that one is right here I click on the top one here and format paint go to my presentation once again you have two presentations open at the same time I click on that and there it is I go back to the other presentation here click on that one go to format paint and once again let's go ahead and look at that there we go and finally last but not least we go over here pick the bottom image go to format paint and click on this now normally what you have to do to get these 3d effects you have to go to format picture and you have to go to 3d rotation you have to put a bunch of numbers in 3d format here and points width styles colors all that stuff uh, why bother uh, they've already done it for you at Microsoft you just click on it go to format paint and then use those settings for yours right here now if I wanted to put this one in front I would right click it and I would just bring it to the front or bring it forward one and you can see it reorders those and last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to save them out a great way of doing this without using uh, Photoshop you can come over here use the save as function come down here where it says other formats and then on the drop down box here you would just pick JPG or PNG I like PNGs but you can do a JPEG you hit save it's going to ask you if you want to do the current slide or every slide I'll go ahead and do every slide just for the sake of this video it's going to convert them all into a JPEG and it's going to give me something here that says each slide has been saved there we go and if we go over here to my desktop there is my folder that it just saved and each one of these is a separate JPG wonderful looking thing here uh, you could email these or you could right click them and you could set as your desktop background so hopefully this was good for you here to learn how to make some really quick 3d looking effects that look great and don't take very much time it's just a matter of using the format painter and downloading the correct template file so I'll try and put as much stuff as I can in the notes and I'm gonna go ahead and sign off but please please subscribe here and then leave me some comments and let me know how I'm doing I will talk to you later this is Chucky and digital goulash bye